I got these feelings, I try to bear it down, but they keep screaming, and I'm just trying to filter out somehow, but they don't want to leave. Great start to the week, I haven't filmed anything today, um, so that's good. Uh, I did get some stuff done. So this morning I edited a video about being vegetarian and um, finding your own way of like eating habits and being vegetarian or vegan and how that helps the environment. Um, that will go up on Thursday, so you should already be able to see it, um, <laughs> because this is in the future. Um, and then I just went grocery shopping and I transferred the footage from last week's vlog, um, which always takes like hours and hours on end. So that's transferred now, so I can start editing that tomorrow. And then I went to the library at uni and got four more books for, four more books for my bachelor. Um, so I'm going to go through these this week. And I think tomorrow I'm going to go meet with a friend um, in the morning and then afterwards, because we're meeting at uni, I'm going to stay there and read the books that I can't take home with me. Um, so these are just for now uh, for reading at home. I think they're not that helpful with like the specifics, but they're quite general um, about like how monsters and humans interact, so hopefully that'll help a bit. And then, basically, for the rest of the day, I met with a friend and we had tea and we hadn't seen each other in a while, so we just talked for a long time. And yeah, I had a really lovely day, but I didn't really do much for like The Bachelor or anything like that. So I worked on videos and I spent time with a friend, which is still great. <laughs> so yeah, that's good. Also, I bought some little star stickers so I can put them right here on my project list because I have my list of projects and now every time I finish a project a creative project this doesn't include the bachelor every time I finish a creative project I can get a star so yay uh, now I'm just gonna have some dinner and go to the university cinema so didn't do much today Gonna hopefully do more tomorrow. <laughs> no, you don't need it. All the jealousy and ugly feelings left from my history. I try so hard, but they get the best of me. And you got every reason to walk out the door, but you rather be next to me. It's almost 3 p.m. and I'm currently working on the literature of terror um but i've also just went out of note cards so i can't really take notes anymore so i guess this is the perfect time for break um i'm gonna go out and get new note cards later on because i think i could get through literature of terror and the fourth book today if not tomorrow <laughs> um i have already worked through two other books this morning and this day great use of words there um as i said the ones that i got from the library um are kind of more general more broad so most of them only have like one or two essays that i can actually use um it's more like going through them and just getting a general idea of the context of the books i'm working with so um this one actually has specifics on frankenstein and jekyll and hyde but the other ones were more like gothic in general and like the idea of monsters in general so i didn't get that many notes but i got a nice like overview of the genre itself as i said i worked through two i'm currently in the middle of the third one and i'm gonna take a break now um and get note cuts later on and see how far i get today i'm also meeting with a friend this evening and having like a nice movie night um so i don't want to force myself to do everything before that but i think at least one book um is manageable today or one more book um i did also order something because um it's really difficult to get secondary literature about hulk um at a uni 
like I found some things that are about like monsters in modern literature and I even found one essay about comic monsters but both of those things weren't that helpful um, again it's more like general terms and so now I ordered the little book of Hulk which is like a collection of essays and interpretations of Hulk um, and like the context of Hulk so hopefully that'll help it wasn't that pricey but still it's kind of I don't know I just I don't understand why comics and mangas and that kind of thing aren't seen as literature so much and why we don't have them in our literary department at university um, so yeah have to wait till that gets here to hopefully get more background and more secondary sources on Hulk but with like the general terms with the monster relationship and with Jekyll and Hyde and Frankenstein I'm doing really well um, as I said I want to get some more books from the um, English department library this weekend but basically when I get through the ones I have lying here uh, I'm done with like secondary literature for now so yeah I'm doing well I'm doing quite well I also sent an email um, to my professor today asking her about a new title idea that I had and hopefully she'll get back to me and say it's wonderful or at least okay <laughs> we'll see uh, so yeah taking a break now all the voices in my head But even more importantly, this just arrived. <laughs> this is the physical proof copy of the Christmas story. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's open it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so... <gasps> it's so cool! Look at it! Like, it's really plain because it's just the proof copy, but this is my book. This is my book! <laughs> oh my god! This is my book! Ah! Ah! So much plastic. Come on, open! Open! This is so cool! Oh, it's so cool! <laughs> This is my book. <laughs> oh my god. This is my book. How weird is that? Okay, I already see things I have to correct, but still, this is my book. I wrote this. And it has 100 and 98 pages which is a nice number and it's like physical actually printed <laughs> oh god I wrote this I wrote this this is my book this is my book I was already done with the books um, at like one or so. Um, one of them wasn't really helpful at all. I kind of just like looked through the one essay that I thought might be helpful but already like halfway through decided okay this isn't gonna help. But the other one was really really helpful. I found a lot in that. Um, and then I took a little break and started working on the wall. Uh, but my camera <laughs> went out of battery again. I'm not that good at this daily vlogging thing yet. Um, so yeah, my camera went out of battery so I couldn't film that. But basically I kind of just reorganized the wall. I took some things down, but mostly I just organized them to kind of see 
where my focus is and to already bring a bit uh, a little bit of structure in it so for example uh with jekyll and hyde i now have like the kind of evolution from jekyll liking hyde to not liking him anymore um and i kind of shortened some of the quotes um or found like kind of titles for uh, sequences or for certain ways they communicate with each other so i just kind of weeded the wall a little bit uh, highlighted some things that i really want to focus on um so yeah it's now half past two i'm kind of done with the wall so far i did also hear back from my professor she said that the idea of the title was good but i need to bring in um the the books more so i kind of need to find a way to incorporate the titles into my title so um i'm gonna think about how to do that but basically i'm done for today um i don't really have anything else to do i want to start working on the christmas story tomorrow now that i have my beautiful beautiful proof copy um but yeah for the bachelor i'm just done for today i'm gonna call it today now I got more books! Big surprise! <laughs> also probably got a nice cold because I looked outside this morning and thought hey the sun is shining that probably means it won't be that cold outside in November. <sighs> Great thinking there. <laughs> Anyways I got more books and these are actually this is the last batch of secondary literature hopefully. Um, so I'm gonna go through these this weekend. We have In Frankenstein's Shadow, Making Monsters and The Fantastic Other. Um, and they are all kind of more about the psyche of the relationship between the maker and the monster. So hopefully um, they'll just give me some insight on why characters are written to act a certain way and what that means. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go through these this weekend. Um, but first today I think I'm just gonna edit the vlog um, because I want that to go up on Sunday and the last time I edited in like one day and it just yeah I just noticed that it was way too much for that and I have to spread it out over several days. I did like the basics and the general like cutting stuff out yesterday but today I'm gonna start putting in the music and doing the transitions um, so yeah, I'm gonna start editing the vlog today and depending on like how far I get with that and when I'm done with that, I either start with one of these, probably the Fantastic Other, I can't talk anymore. Yeah, I thought probably start with the Fantastic Other um, today if I have time for it and if I feel like it. Or maybe depending on whether my friends have sent me some feedback, I might also do some corrections on the Christmas story. But first of all, coffee and editing. And when we're fighting, they get in the way and start a fire. But you never let us burn away. You got me figured out. It's just past 1 p.m. and I just can't bring myself to do anything and I hate this so so much. I really tried, I even like I read some pages of this book and I, I don't know it's but it just As soon as I try to do anything that has any consequences and that like actually influences something I do, as soon as I try to work on something, as soon as I just open the book, it's just like my brain just shuts down. And I just I feel my throat close up and the tears coming and I get this flash image of like 
everything that could go wrong. And just, like, it's not even, like, it's not even specific. It's just, my brain just shuts down and goes into your complete failure mode. I hate this. I hate this so much. Because I know I'm not. I'm not a failure. I'm so productive. I do so much. I'm good at this. Productivity and creativity and organizing, those are the things I'm good at. And then there are days like today when I just can't. I just can't do it. And logically I know that it's gonna be okay, I have tomorrow to read the books and even if I don't manage to do it tomorrow, like it's not the end of the world. I can do this, I know that. But I just hate becoming my own victim. And being sort of like, yeah, just restraining and limiting myself. And there's nothing I could do about that. It just sucks. It sucks so much. And I just want to get this done. Voices in my